Hey everyone, welcome to Free Handling Made AU Crochet. My name is Nisi, your host, and you're hanging out with me for just a few minutes in Big Sky, Montana. It is my weekly whip. I want to show you what I've done on, or what I've done with Luck of the Draw. We just got finished doing week five. And um, so let me show you, let me get my crochet hook out. <laughs> secure my stitch here for a moment this is turning out really cute um, and I know mama Swift said that she's she was concerned that hers this is her this is her pattern the log cabin texture throw love it mama Swift I love the, I love the way this is turning out so fun so full of texture it's, it's just it has it's really been a lot of fun make sure I show this the right way anyway I'm really liking the way it's coming out. Look how pretty. I know she said she was kind of worried about hers um, not being big enough for Boggy Creek and that she was thinking about having to maybe add a couple of rows or maybe add a thick border. Um, so I'm interested in to see what she's going to do with hers because I'll probably end up doing the same thing with mine. But look at, look at Mama Swift. Look how pretty it's turning out. This is so much fun. I'm so glad I decided to do this, but it is coming out really pretty. I'm really liking this, and I think there's going to be a very happy child at Boggy Creek who, who gets this blanket. Um, it's been so much fun. I'm definitely going to do Luck with the Draw next year if they if they have it, because this this has been a blast. So that's my Luck of the Draw. Let me put my hook in there, and then. This is where I'm at on the Happy Heart Afghan in the four weight yarn. Um, I make sure I'm showing it in the right direction as well. Hang on, I can't see. I can't see, and my stuff is getting all tangled up on my stitch markers. Holy cow! Okay, let me see which way. Okay, this is the front. All right, so, oh, please tell me I didn't lose my stitch. Okay, I didn't. Ooh, I scared myself. Um, I'm just starting on the blue, but this is how it's coming out so far. Look how bright and pretty that is. It's so bright and pretty. So, um, when I get done with this, um, the stitch count is, is a little different than the original pattern that I did because it is a heavier weight yarn. But I mean, outside that, the pattern is exactly the same. It's just your stitch count is going to be different. That's all. Um, so I think I did, hang on, 25, 50, 75, 100. So on my DK weight one, I did 144 stitches. On this one, the four weight, I only had to do 100 I only had to chain 100, so it's 100 stitches. So it's really not that much different. So that is the Happy Heart Four Weight Afghan. It's coming along quite nicely. I had to put it over to the side for now because I'm really trying to get this Tunisian blanket done. Let me show you what I've gotten done on the Tunisian blanket. I've gotten halfway done. So I'm at least I'm finally at the halfway point. Holy cow. Oh my goodness, Michael wasn't kidding. He he warned me that Tunisian would take me a lot longer. He was not kidding. But it's turning out really pretty. I think Michael would be proud of me. So Michael and Panda, here it is. Panda, I need to figure out, I need to pull up your pattern, bud, and see what you did for a border. Because, um, I mean, I, I, I used your pattern to do this. The only difference is, is mine's a little bigger and it's color changes. But anyway, so this is it. I don't even know what you guys can see. Because you can't see the whole thing because I'm... So, this is it. I'm going to pull up really close so you can really see the stitches. This is the Tunisian full stitch. I just got down. So you can see I'm repeating the color. So I just got done with the brown. And then, according to this... The next color is the burnt orange, so I'll be starting the burnt burnt orange soon. I just got done doing one, two, three, four rows of the cream. 
So yeah, I definitely need to, oh, I should change colors. That's okay, I can fix it. So I need to change colors and switch over to the orange. So that's what I've gotten done on that. So is this going to be done by the Yarny Social, which was my goal? No, it's not. <laughs> I With my hours at work being more than usual and how busy I am on the weekend, there's no way. I would literally have to crochet all day long for like seven days straight to get this done by October 2nd, October 3rd. It's not going to happen. So um, this will probably end up being mailed off later. I am taking the Mountain State Children's Home Gumball Afghan and the Sun Bunny with me. I'll be leaving that with uh, the person who said that they would deliver the blankets for us. So that will save me at least a little bit of shipping. But this, this is going to end up having to be shipped off later because it's, it's not going to be done. I am going to take this with me, though, to the Yarny Social because I'm going to be working on it in the evenings while I hang out with Little Man um, at the pool. So I'll be working at this, working on this at the Yarny Social, trying to get it done. That is literally all I have for you guys. Um... I have not done anything on my mosaic blanket. It's still sitting in timeout downstairs. It's going to remain there until all three of these blankets get done. Um, Cocoon Cardi. Um, I think I finally decided what stitch I'm going to use. And I can tell you it's going to be one of the tutorial stitches that Michael from MDL Crochet has posted, it, posted on his channel. It's the same stitch that he used for his Bag O' Day remake shirt. You know that shirt that she made for her husband? Michael remade that shirt in a Tunisian pattern with Bag O' Day's permission. It turned out phenomenal. But the stitch that he used for that, um, I believe it's called the net stitch. Tunisian net stitch, I want to say. Um, I was able to get a hold of him. And asked him if he thought that would be a good stitch for my Cocoon Cardi. Because my Cocoon Cardi, I want to be able to wear it year-round. But it has to still be warm enough here for the winter time. Because it gets freaking cold in Montana. He said absolutely. So I think I think I am. I think, I think my Cocoon Cardi is going to be a, a Tunisian pattern that I'm making. Um, and I think I will. I don't, I've never, I mean... The only pattern I've ever written was for the Happy Heart Afghan. So, like, how do you write up a Tunisian pattern? I mean, it's just one stitch. It's one stitch that you do in a whole square till you're done, and then you fold it, sew up the sides, leave room for your armholes, and then you create your sleeve if you want a sleeve, create ribbing around the collar if you want ribbing around the collar. I mean, it's, it's just like all other cocoon cardies. You're just using a Tunisian stitch, that's all. The only difference so i don't know i don't know i don't i don't think there's going to be a, a a tutorial on it i really don't um if people are really 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 wanting it maybe i'll get with michael and be like hey you want to recreate one of these and put it on your channel <laughs> be my guest this is what i did and this is how i did it um but i think that's going to be it I don't think I'll write up a, a pattern for it because it's Tunisian and how do you write it? Like it's it's the net stitch. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I think that's what I, I think that's what my decision is, but I still have time to think about it. Um, there's a couple of crochet stitches that I'm still kind of looking at, but we'll see. So it's still in the planning planning stage. Um Let's see, what else? What else do I have going on? Really, what I've got going on is mostly personal stuff here at the ranch. Um, I know I've been away, I, and I apologize, um, but my priorities have changed a lot over the last seven months, and uh, uh, I've made the decision to... Um, be in the here and now with the people that's physically, physically here around me. Um, and uh, there's some things I'm, I'm, I'm working out that's very personal. So that has nothing to do with YouTube. It's just very personal, real life stuff that I'm trying to navigate. My friend Drini from Purple's 
uh, from Purple uh, Crochet with Dreamy. I, I think I totally got her channel name wrong. Dreamy, I'm sorry, honey. I love you. Um, she's been doing uh, my set. She took, I told her to take my slot that I had. Um, well, it's not really my slot, but it's the time that I use. You all know what I mean. Anyway, so she's been going live on Saturday mornings at uh, 12 Eastern, 11 a.m. Central. Um, when I normally would be going live and she's been going live about every other week, I think is what her goal is. So, um, and it's been a lot of fun being in, in her live and hanging out with her. I've really enjoyed it. Um, it's been a while since I've gotten to hang out with her cause she's been really busy and she doesn't get a chance to get on YouTube live very much. So it was nice to be able to catch her. So yeah, if you have nothing going on at that time frame on a Saturday morning, go check Dreamy out. I'll leave her channel um, in the description below. Um, but mostly, I've been really busy doing Mountain State Children Home Blankets and Boggy Creek Blankets. That's where my heart is right now. Um, my heart is on crocheting for charities, not YouTube. I love you guys, but it's just not my uh, top uh, on the top of my priority list. Um, I just really love sharing what I'm working on. And then uh, hiding in the treehouse in lives and just kind of sit back and just, I love being a viewer. Being a content creator can be very stressful. And so taking this time away, oh my gosh, it's been so wonderful for my mental health. <laughs> um, being able to step back and get away from all, all the expectations. Um, and honestly, I've enjoyed watching other people a lot better um, and seeing what they're working on and seeing all these beautiful blankets that are coming out from all these beautiful people. Um, it's just been fun to watch. And uh, I've been catching some tutorials more. Um, I've been trying to stay away from the, um, what were you, the yarn haul videos because those are so tempting. I'm trying really hard to just use my stash. I will tell you, I do have some yarn coming. Oh, I shouldn't have bought it, but it's just so pretty. And it's not yarn that I have yet. And I, I just, I had a weak moment and I got some pretty yarn coming. Um, it's fine. But other than that, I've done really, really well. Um, the luck of the draw has been fun because I'm using the stash I already have and making things work. So that's been an eye-opener for me. Um, let's see. Future plans besides the cocoon cardi. <sighs> I don't know. I have so, much, so many things I want to do. So the cocoon cardi and then... Um, while I'm working on the cocoon cardi, I'll switch up and I do want to get that mosaic blanket done. Um, Drini's been a great help for me, with me, uh, figuring out how to read the graft and how to do the stitches. Um, and so I got to get that mosaic blanket done. If for anything else for Drini, so she can see that Nisi did it. I, I started it and finished it. Um, Drini's like one of our mosaic queens on these streets. And so, um, I want her to see that her teaching went was good and I was able to get this project done. So, um, and I think I'm going to gift it to my, my good friend here. I have a good friend, you guys, apparently. Um, her name's Tracy and I think I might gift, gift it to Tracy because Tracy loves nature and she loves all four seasons and I think she'll love it. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna gift it to my friend Tracy. I think it'd be really special. Let's see, besides doing these projects, my life has been really full with taking care of the golden retriever puppy that we have. Um, man, puppies are, big puppies are a lot of work, you guys. No joke, they are a lot of work. Um, the boys are enjoying him immensely. He's, he's a very smart dog, very smart. Um, so, yes, it's been, oh, the cows will be leaving soon. Uh, I'm very excited about that because cows are, oh, they keep coming over on my side of the property and eating all my nice bushes. And I'm, 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 I'm done with it. 
like you have all this pasture. Why do you want to be on the inside of around our cabin? The grass is always greener on the other side. That's what people say. Um, I think the cows are going to be gone about mid-October. Let me tell you guys something. Once those cows are gone, and once the ranch, I call the ranch going to sleep during the wintertime, because that's literally what it does. It goes to sleep. There's nothing for Mr. Handsome and I to take care of, except for maybe when an elk herd decides to use our fence as a Olympic game <laughs> and try and jump over it, and they miss, and they just tear down the fence. That's really the only time we have to fix anything unless we get a really bad ice storm and we lose, you know, some trees and some branches because the snow or the ice is so heavy and it, it, the tree can't handle it and it just falls. So outside that, the ranch is asleep and I get so much more time to do things. So much more time. So I'm hoping I can get more crocheting done during the winter months. I'm hoping. So... Um, let's see health update nothing's changed I'm still in the holding pattern um, surgery I'm not sure when that's going to happen it's all going to depend on this medication and I can already tell you it's starting to I have an appointment let's see the 31st and I think I'm going to have to switch to the other medication that basically forces me into menopause because this medication I was only supposed Twice a day, no more than three times a day. Well, now I'm up to three times a day. And it's not the kind of medication you can just up the dosage on. So. It's another reason why I took a major step back from YouTube is because I'm in pain every single day, you guys. I'm not. I'm in pain every day. And I have to go to work and I have to cook for my boys and I have to do chores and I'm wiped out. There's not a whole lot of me left to give. <laughs> so these once a week videos, if I'm even lucky to get a video out each week is all I can give right now. And then occasionally pop up in a live and chat with people. This is, this is all I can give. And I, I am sorry for that. And I know I've lost lots of memberships because of that but you know what that is one that's 100 percent okay because i can't give them what they want so definitely it's no problem um i totally get it and i totally understand so um it's just the reality of where my life is we all have seasons we all have tough seasons that we go through and right now niecy's going through one so uh those of you that have stuck with me thank you so much it's so much appreciated I have so many of you that just send me positive messages and encouragement. And I, I could use all the positive energy I can get. I can't tolerate any, any negative energy right now. I have no tolerance for it right now. My patience is just not what it used to be. Um, so for those of you that have been a positive light still in my life, thank you. I, I appreciate it and I don't take it lightly. And I want to make sure you know that you're a blessing. So that's all I have for you guys. That's all the updates I have. It's not really a whole lot going on here. Um, but, um, I may take some, some pictures at the Yarny Social. Um, I think one of us YouTubers will be going live. I will not be going live on my cell phone, but if another YouTuber is going live and they want me, um, you know, part of that live, I'll be more than happy to hop on, but I won't be doing my own live. Um, I'm going to Yarny Social to relax. <laughs> I'm not going to the Yarny Social to boost my channel at all. It's a vacation for Nisi, and I don't want to work while I'm on vacation. <laughs> so no, I will not be doing a live video, but I will probably get some pictures here and there, and I'll definitely do a video of anything that I buy so you guys can see what I've bought from the local vendors. So there's that. Plus my son's going to be with me and you guys know I'm really weird about not having my son on camera. So <laughs> anyway, so that's pretty much it. I will see you guys hopefully next week. I'll be able to drop another video. Um, but if not, y'all will see me here and there pop in and out here and there in the YouTube lives in the YouTube lives. Um, you, you, all, you all will see me here and there. Anyway, 
I'm out of here. You guys um, have a good rest of your week, um, or I should say have a good new week because it's Sunday night, and um, I'll see you guys around somewhere. Keep on crocheting, knitting, whatever it is you do, and uh, I look forward to seeing what all y'all are working on, what you guys have finished. I find it exciting. I love watching everybody do all their things. It's so much fun to watch. And we'll see you guys soon. And as I always say, dare to be you, dare to be different. Big love and hugs and kisses from Big Sky Montana, you guys. Bye, everybody.